Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the new EaseUS BitWiper app. Uh, so what this will do, it'll, it'll allow you to permanently delete files and clean out partitions and drives and that kind of thing on your computer. So if you have some uh, top secret personal data that you don't want to have to be recovered, then you could use this to wipe it clean. So there's several options. You have the wipe hard drive option. You could wipe specific files, wipe a partition or volume, an external drive, your system drive, which will be your Windows drive, and then free space. So if you have deleted some files and you want to have it so they can't be recovered, you could do the free space option and still leave the other files and folders on that drive intact. So they have a free trial, and then if you decide you like it and you want to buy it, you, you could uh, pick your option here. So they have the uh, one month for 30 bucks, one year for 40 and the lifetime for 60 which I would think would be your best bet because you might want to use it more than a year. And then the technician options if you're going to be using this for your work right there. So we have it downloaded and installed on this computer. So we'll open it up here. Okay, so we have our three options, wipe disk, wipe partition, and file shredder. So we'll start with the file shredder. So this is where you could drag and drop a specific file or folder, or you could browse to it. So let's see what we got here that we could shred. Let's find something in our downloads that we don't need. Let's say we want this WinZip program gone forever. Drag that in there. Click on Shred. So it says it's done. Permanently deleted sensitive confidential data, so it can't be retrieved again. So if we go back to our downloads, it's gone. Okay, then there's the uh, white partition option. So this will show you all your partitions. So we have this one partition here that on the F drive. Find it. So this has some folders here. So I want to keep these folders, yet I want to wipe all the free space. So what I would do is find that partition there. So the 60 gig partition. So it's going to list any unformatted partitions and that kind of thing, or system recovery. So you got to just know what you're looking at here. Like this is a probably a system recovery partition that you wouldn't normally see. So just look at the size to get an idea and look at the label to make sure that things match up. So this is new. This is new. So what we're going to do, we selected that, we'll click on Next. And now we're going to pick the option to only erase recoverable data in the free space. So we're going to leave the other stuff intact. And then here's all your options here. So if you're using the Pro, you're going to have some uh, super uh, wiping methods here. And you know, obviously the more, you, more wipes and passes it does, the longer it's going to take to do it. So for the free option, you only get the one pass, zeros, one pass random, and the Peter Gutman option. So for just for demonstration purposes, we're going to do the one pass zeros. Just be sure to check this box if you want to keep everything else on the drive, otherwise it's going to be gone. And you might want to you know, also do a backup of your stuff too before doing anything like this, just in case something doesn't work right. So we'll click on Next. So it's doing the one pass. This should be pretty quick. Okay, so that's done, and it popped it up, so everything's still there, so that's good. Okay, so now we're going to do the wipe disk option here. So here's that, that new disk here. So if we select the whole thing here, and here's disk one that has windows on it, so you make sure, you know, here's those other little partitions that I was showing in the other screen. So once again, make sure you choose the right one here. Click on Next, and then here are your same options again for the free and the pro. We'll do the one pass again. So this is what we're going to get rid of everything here. So we'll click on next. There's there is no uh, only do a free space option because it's you're wiping the disk, not the partition here. So click on next. Data will be permanently wiped. No way to recover. So we're going to click on wipe. Okay, permanently erased. Click on done. Go back into our computer here, our file explorer. So now that drive is completely gone there. So if you want to go into disk management here, we'll see what it looks like. 
after it's done here. Okay, so it's, you know, the, obviously the drive is still there physically, but it completely wiped the uh, volume and just made it so it's just unallocated space. And then you could go back in here and do a new volume if you want. Uh, we'll just call this data this time. Okay, so now we go back to my PC here. So now we have our data drive with nothing on it. So obviously the methods, let me go back to the... Uh, obviously the method here you know, that you choose is going to be how well it works. So your one pass zeros. I wouldn't say you're 100% guaranteed it's not going to be recoverable from one pass, even though they say it's permanently deleted. So if you really want to delete some stuff, for good, you probably want to, you know, buy it and then use one of these more advanced methods. And of course, you're going to have to wait a long time for it to go through and do all the passes that it takes to perform these specific options here. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description. You could download it for yourself and, you know, use the free version and see how it works for you. Then if you want to get serious about wiping some drives, then you could go ahead and buy it for yourself and use it for good. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.